welcome to our Friday Lives with Anna and Jenny. We have to come up with like a schnauzy name for it. Mm -hmm. Be beads and beauties beads. or something. Bead corner. <laughs> bead, bead corner. Bead corner. Friday bead corner. <laughs> um, so we're going to show you, um, we're going to do a live tutorial today. And we're going to do, um, if you caught the intro video that we just did, we're going to do this lovely gemstone lace bracelet, uh, which is a take on the crystal lace bracelet. But we're just going to do some gemstones and um, check glass and end it with a beautiful bold clasp. So, shall we work your magic there, hit the button, and let's go to the bead mat. So to start out here, we have our gemstones. So this is a crystal lace bracelet. Um, so it's, you're gonna, as you work with it, you'll realize it's very much like a peyote stitch, but um, you're adding, it's, you're just not working with one bead at a time. So it's very similar to like a peyote um, or even like a netting, like they're very similar. Um, Jenny, you used to do, do teach us class, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, <laughs> Jenny and I taught a lot of <laughs> these bracelets in our yes. day when we were um, when we had a, a store um, in Hagerstown. So we pretty much can do this in our sleep. <laughs> you, you get to the point, each one has more rows. You get to the point where you just see how many rows, how wide you can make it. <laughs> yeah, the, you could. I mean, it's very meshy. That's what's kind of nice about it is it's got like this kind of stretch, meshy texture to it. Um, you could you could make a shirt. You could, you could do anything with this. You could just make like a piece of fabric. Yeah, all kinds of all kinds of fun things you can do. Um, so for this one specifically, um, I'm going to use gemstones. Like I'm I'm going to use a couple um, colors of 15 O's. I just like mixing up the colors um, to give it a little extra dimension. And then I'm going to also add in some check faceted rounds. So very simple. Um, ingredients here that we're working with some 15 0 seed beads, some four millimeter rounds, and of course our wildfire thread and needle. And then the clasp that I'm going to use is the Potomac's push clasp here. And here's the there's your item number. Oh, it's really faded. <laughs> there's your item number. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> they'll, they'll have it linked below, so so you're so you're good. Um, so we're just going to use one of the Potomac push clasps, um, and I chose this aqua rivoli because some of the gemstones here have got that really pretty like blue howlite turquoisey color. So I thought that kind of popped and pulled that out. And Jenny's going to be working on the side on her own little project. I'm using the um, Polaris bracelet colors. Yeah, I love the. Yeah, I love those. Uh, <laughs> Up and over. Yeah, I love the Labradorite. Yeah, Labradorites are really good. And the mixed gemstones that I have, they have some Labradorite in there, but it's just a, a nice mixture of stones that you get all together, sort of ready made, so you don't have to think too much about getting like multiple strands and mixing them yourself. You can have somebody just do that for you. <laughs> Jenny, what color seed beads are you using? With yours. Um, Put on a stop sure. bead while Jenny figures out what colors. Uh, I caught using. her off guard. Jenny and I have them over here. Oh no, this is not it. That's similar. I th it's a taupe. I think it is a taupe. I think it's sparkle beige line crystal. Yes. To be exact. No taupe at all. <laughs> no taupe at all. This it's in the taupe nice. color way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that. Um, what you got over there? These are all kinds of pretty, all kinds of pretty things. This would look really pretty with that. Mm -hmm. That eucalyptus, the Duracoat Galvan or Duracoat opaque colors, are really pretty. Yeah. This is I have to stick to these colors because that's what our intro said I was using. <laughs> Can't change. <laughs> Can't change now. It's fine. Okay. So um, to start out here, like I said, this is kind of like peyote stitch. So. Um, You'll sort of realize as you go that if you are good with peyote and you enjoy doing that, um, you will also enjoy working with this as well. Um, so to start out, I'm going to uh, pick up my first row of beads here. So I'm going to start 
Let me see if I can get this between our heads here in How view. Much? I gotta move over. My stuff is over too far. How much of a tail? So um, I would leave a tail big enough to um, come back and do the clasp with. Okay. So you're gonna need several inches. And you can add, of course, depending on what kind of clasp you use, you can you can change the way that you add it. Add it. I just did this just kind of loop end to it. Um, but you can, of course, put um, like a multi-sharing clasp or something on it and do a little bit differently. Um, so to start out, we're going to start by picking up our first row of beads. So I'm going to start with a gemstone. I'm going to start with a gemstone. And I'm going to pick up three of my 15 O's. I have a stop bead on, and you do too? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can correct me if I do anything wrong because I feel like the last time I did a live, I <laughs> did something wrong and I had to correct myself. <laughs> that's kind of the excitement about doing Anna, a that's live. that's why I'm sitting a, in here. That's why, yeah. To catch you, you on your mistakes. Probably, <laughs> 30 seconds I, later when I see it. 33 seconds <laughs> oh, later. Right. That's why I'm saying the uh, instructions very loudly so Allie in the corner can hear and tell me if I'm doing something I'm gonna wrong. I'm going to judge you. I did this whole bracelet <laughs> all by myself. I'm going to give you a grade later. But I'm notorious for forgetting exactly what I did. Um, so that's why I have this bracelet out. <laughs> so you can see here by looking at it, um, you're starting with the gemstone and you're picking up three seed beads in between. I have 15 O's. And this is a very scalable project. So you can do six O's, um, or sorry, six millimeter seed beads, or six millimeter gemstones, or faceted rounds, and just add some more seed beads in between. This is a very good um, tutorial for learning like this concept and then making it your own. And I'm gonna do, you can see I have one, two, three, four seed beads across. And you can easily tell that here at the beginning. So I'm going to pick up four of my gemstones with my seed beads in between. And Shelly said she always has a problem working with random mixtures. <laughs> and it goes against her brain. Is there any way to get over that? I said, yeah, you just close, yes. <laughs> close your eyes. Yeah. Close your eyes. Don't close your eyes, is Shelly. Did you say it was Shelly? Yeah. Don't close your eyes because you're using a needle. <laughs> All right, I take that back. It's terrible advice. <laughs> um, just, I would say just do it. Just grab Actually, one. you know what, you would, if you want to feel better about just using random mixtures, rainbows. Right? If you just like walk outside and you see like all mm -hmm. these random colors all over. I mean, it's kind of just represents the world, so. I think so, always it's get over it by doing a bigger project where the Just more color it. you have, the less it impacts you. Oh, yeah. yeah. So like yeah. an English Gardens bracelet or something like that, mm -hmm. um, the Monet Gardens, where it's a mix yeah. of items. So I'm starting and I'm ending with a gemstone here, and I've got my CBs in between. And then you can see here on my bracelet, on the outside, I have a different color seed bead. So I like doing this because it's also good for learning. So if you see a different color seed bead, you know like, oh, I'm doing something different. So along the edge here, I'm gonna step up to my next row. So I'm gonna pick up three of my, um, I guess you would just say my B color 15 O seed bead. For me, it's the bronze. And then I'm going to pick up um, a faceted round, or you can do a gemstone, but I'm going to pick up a faceted round, and this is now the beginning of my second row. So you can see if I turn this in on itself, now I'm going back the other way, and I have my side seed beads here. I'm going to pick up another three 15 O's in this color that I'm using on the inside of my project. And then I'm gonna go through my second bead here, my second gemstone in the first row. So I'm skipping one, one gemstone and I'm gonna go through the second gemstone. And so that's how this is very similar to a peyote stitch because you're just going through every other bead. And what that will do is it will take my faceted round that I just added and it'll have it sit right on top of the 
gemstone. Oops, I accidentally picked up four. Oh, <laughs> already. Oh, uh, already. Just break it. No, <laughs> no, I'm not breaking it because I I know what happens to, to beaters who break these. They get glass in your public, fingers. They like get it. public shamed. They get public shamed. So I just took out, took my thread out there and just got rid of that one little seed bead. And then we're going to do this again. I'm going to pick up another three of my 15-0 and the color that I'm using on the inside. I'm going to pick up a faceted round. And I'm going to pick up another three seed beads. So I have three seed beads, a gemstone, or a faceted round, and three seed beads. And I'm going to go through my last gemstone here on the end. Can you see okay? Yeah. Oh, I like what you got I just on did, there. I just did less so you could see what Oh, I see. Like, but I don't know if it's working. So you're going to want an even number of gemstones to start out with. <laughs> or you're going to After be... I told everybody that you taught this class so many times. <laughs> well, I, I, you can do it, but you're going to be using a lot more threads. It's, it's like an, it would be like an odd count. Yeah. Sort of peyote, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's like a peyote, but think about your 15 0 seed beads in between. Just kind of ignore those when you do your counts. And you want to start out with an even number of gemstones or four millimeters, whatever kind of stone or bead you're using. So now that I'm at the end, I'm going to step up. So I'm going to use my outside color. So I've got this bronze and I've got three of those. Slide those down. And I'm going to start adding a row on top of that. So um, if you do peyote stitch and you're really familiar with that, you know that your first row you're setting everything up and then you do your second row, which then like offsets the beads, which you can see here, it's got like that zigzag pattern going on. So the first row that I picked up was all four of these white beads, but once I put my second row, they get kind of like offset. So one on top of the other, and you have like, people call them like the sticky outies or <laughs> whatever. Yeah, all, all kinds of fun names for them. So coming back this way, I'm going to continue to use my gems or my check fasted rounds in the bronze to complete um, my set of four going across here. So I'm going to pick up a gemstone or a um, check fasted round, another set of 15 0 seed beads. So then this fasted round will sit right on top of the gemstone below it, and I'm going to go through my faceted round. I need three more 15 O's, gemstone or faceted round, another three 15 O's, and I'm going to go through my last faceted round. And that is basically a complete cycle. So if you're reading a pattern, at this point it would say, repeat steps <laughs> one through three <laughs> until the desired length of the bracelet. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to um, pick up my seed beads for the side. And then I'm going to do another colored gemstone. So um, since I've got all these wonderful colors here mixed together, I was going to try to do some sort of like cool pattern. Like I'm going to do like, a rainbow or something mm -hmm. and see what that looks like. This one's just completely randomly mixed, which is really cool, but Allie, yeah, that's something different. That's one of those things you were just talking about. You could do color blocks mm -hmm. if she doesn't feel comfortable just picking them up. What's her what's her name or this is this is a uh, color therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think color blocks are a great idea because then you can kind of get a sense for you know, what colors you like together, what, what you don't. You still have that structure if it stresses mm -hmm. you out too much. Yeah, yeah, I gave the advice of to start, if you have trouble mixing colors, just do different tones and hues of mm -hmm. the same color family. Mm -hmm. So do different tones of blues and then add in a black or a silver. 
yes. and do different tones of purples, and then you think like, oh, I'll add in, you know, a green and a bronze. Start out slowly <laughs> and get your dip your, wet. Dip your toes <laughs> in it and, and keep going. Also, I remember having done this that um, the idea of like diagonal, doing things on the diagonal. Yep. Mm-hmm. That you can do a pattern to it. You can do rows. So you could do white down one row, blue down another row, mm-hmm. green down another. Yeah. So what you're you're setting up, it's like this matrix, this structure is very geometric. So while the concept is kind of straightforward and simple, um, you can have a lot of fun with it because you can change you know, like Ali was saying, the colors, um, you can do stripes or you can do it on a diagonal. So it's a, it is very much like a peyote where it's a basic stitch, but depending on the colors and the pattern that you add to it, you can get a whole different kinds of effects. Even the seed bead colors. Mm-hmm. You right. You do the seed bead colors, interior or different, or one, one direction where it's one color, one direction going another color. Right. So it almost looks like a ribbon kind of going back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be yeah, that'd be really cool. And um, Jenny, you are doing you're doing just two, three. Did you? What do you have going on? Oh, I should have just done two. No, I have four now. Oh, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I like I like this um, just kind of back and forth, very easy, like go with the flow. It's a good meditative piece. It is, yeah, it's a very good meditative piece. You wanna hit the I can't see the comments, I wanna see some of the comments. Do you wanna hit the I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in this discussion. Here? Uh, yep, just go to the website. There we are. I guess I'm just too structured. <laughs> and then also keep in mind that you don't need to use 15s. You can use 11s. You can use 8s. You can do this with oh, yeah. six millimeter and eight. So you can do it with eight millimeter if you want it real big. And you could even do a gradient of fours on the outside to then, or threes to yeah, then fours. It would, yeah, um, it would be, um, oh, do we, well, I need to stick to probably what we did. <laughs> I can't get too crazy because then Amber will yell at me for doing something different. <laughs> um, but yeah, actually, and we were just looking at the the uh what was it called the raw necklace that we that you were looking the right at? angle weave yeah the right angle weave necklace where it's um like Allie, I, don't know if you're being, I don't know if you could find it and link to an alley but um same kind of idea where you're taking like a simple idea a simple concept and then making it bigger and switching it up just using different size beads so if you have um like the peyote, the herringbone, something like that. Just take that simple stitch that you know and you you know know it really well, and then add different seed beads or different um, sh- sizes, and you'll get that gradient. And then you can do um, like a really cool necklace or something with it. It's also very similar to um, oh, Ali, what was the necklace that you did? I feel like I want to call it the mermaid, but it's not the mermaid. Oh, it's, you're putting me on the it's spot. It's netting. It's netting, and it's blue. It's like, it's got... Oh, Ariel. Ariel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not mermaid, Ariel. <laughs> it was based so on Ariel, the little yeah. mermaid, though. So I'll give you that one. Okay. I'll, I'll look I it remember, up. And I remember some of the conversations. I'll link, I'll link to Ariel, the little mermaid. Yeah. She was in blues. Ariel. That was my King Triton. Oh, impression. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen it in ages. Sorry, I didn't catch that. I haven't seen The Little Mermaid in ages, but the other day, Camille did watch it, and she came to me afterwards. She goes, I'm glad I don't have a mean daddy. Her daddy was a mean daddy. Oh. So, and yeah, he breaks all of her stuff apart. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. 
Let's see, here's Jenny. Oh, I took it apart again. Oh. Well, I wanted to so, see, I wanted to be able to show what it looked like with just two in case people want oh, yeah. a really thin one. Yeah, do so. two. Dare you to try it with one. <laughs> use one bead, Jenny. Use, see use what one bead. <laughs> Jokes on you, it would probably be very pretty. <laughs> How would you do that? You just <laughs> you just put pico trims on one bead. <laughs> <laughs> you just ladder stitch it, just right yeah. angle weave. Basically to do it with one is just to do it with right angle weave. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. mean it's you you're not really it's on a lace at that point. It's no variants, no laces, <laughs> it's just a bead. <laughs> Um, Jenny's going to string a strand of beads and, and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the, the simplified up down version. It's a bit more in my wheelhouse. Catherine Aww. would like to see what you currently have, Jenny. Oh, literally nothing. Oh, I got, I got a stop bead, <laughs> <laughs> the gemstone, and three seeds. Karen, you got to give her a little bit more time. <laughs> so, Anna, are you going for a color block Ooh, so, theme? Because you're yeah. using all the same. Yeah, so what I was. You're doing a whole what row I was of gemstones. Saying was I was going to start with. It's kind of boring right now because I'm starting with the white, but then I was going to move into like the pale yellows and greens and then get bolder and do sort of like a. Um, you got to make Shelly crazy. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, and so this bracelet. This is using items from the March Best Bead Box. And this is just using, uh, okay, I'm going to put you on the spot. Do you have any silk cord in here? Well, I don't know. Okay. You can't see me. You can't, I just realized I had sunglasses on my head, so I'm you just going <laughs> to, they make me invisible. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> Allie. Let me take off my invisibility. Allie cord. Marie Baumler. They're Bachman. not here. I'm gonna grab you some silk. <laughs> yeah, so I'll do a little. It's probably gonna drive Amber crazy because we didn't Switch say we we're up. gonna do this, but um, it's a super simple, just knotting project. So um, I'll just show you quick how to do that. But this is just using items from the March Best Bead Box. Um, it's just a variety of, it's got the ingots, um, and these are actually really comfortable to wear. I was afraid that with the crystals, with like the sharp edges, it may be like, you know, it may just not really be very comfortable, but it's super comfortable. I've been wearing it every day, and I get so many compliments on it. Probably not uncomfortable because of the knots. Yeah, yeah. Makes a big so, difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it drapes really well. I love it. It's just on like silk cord or you can use Eslon and you're just basically nodding. I didn't even, if I did a video or anything on it, which would be a very, very short video, um, I would probably do it a little bit differently. I just kind of put this together. Um, but so my knots are not perfect. <laughs> um, Oh, I started out crazy, but it did not make it into my beading for some reason. I think you have to be a little crazy to do, like, the really amazing, like, beading things that I find. Um, like, people, like, that do the um, embroidery, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. they do, like, all the crazy different designs and things that people come up with. It's like, you can't be completely right in the head or you'll never <laughs> make anything too, too crazy awesome. I figured to show the craziness. Yeah. My favorite customer, I probably already said this before, but I don't know if I said it on, I don't know if I said it on a, a live. Um, one of my favorite customers from years and years ago, she would come in and she would wear like one earring. <laughs> And Allie knows exactly what I'm talking about. I've mentioned her recently, too. Oh, oh, you did? About how you can, yeah. She would, she would um, come in and wear one earring. And I didn't know if like, she knew that she was wearing one earring. And I didn't want to embarrass her or offend her. But, um, like, we were kind of buddy-buddy. So I said, you know, hey, I was like, you only have one earring. I like, did you lose it? And she, she just says to me, she says, Anna... And this, this is one of these, like, words of wisdom that will stick with me forever. She says, Anna, if you only wear one earring, people will know that you're crazy. <laughs> that was Anita. So then they just won't talk to you. Aww. That was Anita. And they just won't talk to you. I think, 
I don't know that it's like they won't talk to you, but I think she was just saying... They've been warned. You, <laughs> you, you've been warned. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think she's just... It was just like, this is who I am. I'm not hiding it. Just so you know, I'm a little crazy. <laughs> and then, you know, then, then that's their expectation. I think that's what it's all about, setting the expectation. So thank you. So you got me... Um, oh, cool. Okay, so I have a piece of Eslon here, which is actually, I think, probably better than the silk cord. Because um, with the Eslon, since it's a synthetic... I'm going to move into some of my paler colors here. Since it's a synthetic, um, I can burn the edges down, where I think with the silk cord it doesn't work so well, because it's more natural. Yeah, I've tried. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> I've tried. You can't. So this is, wow, this is a super crazy old awesome yeah, piece I like here. That. I was looking at that. Um, like... Yeah, I think. Yeah, look at that old guy. <laughs> it's, it's even got, so just to embarrass Ali just a little bit here, it even has like, what is that, dried Pain. food particles on it? Oh, <laughs> probably. What is that, like spilled Diet Coke or something? That that um, makes it that makes that it that makes more it vintage. Exciting. Yeah, um, but yeah, cane glass, like all kinds of things. And this is again just another sample of a knotted um, piece of piece of jewelry. This is a great thing to do with, um, like, if you have a bunch of beads in your stash that you don't really know what to do with. But you um, really like them. Yeah, but you like them, and you just kind of put them all together. The reason I brought that is because we were saying you can use anything for the netting. You can even use a variety of different beads and yeah. make it a freeform netting. That would be cool. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, I love that idea. So what I did, um, I don't think I have a cut button around here, but that's okay. I don't need a cut button. Um, what I did was use some <laughs> I'm doing this on the fly, people. What, is that? what do you mean? Uh, Eidos, Eidos, oh. something, I don't know, something I'll kind of it. big. But out oh, here, I'll use... There's Eidos behind Jenny. Oh. <laughs> Jenny! Jenny has Eidos. Don't make those, don't make those just, noises. Just with that, just with those stones. Oh, okay. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I have to put something on the string. I didn't even think about it. I was going to put on the string. <laughs> Jenny, you'll just do the project, won't you? And I'll... Well, let me grab... Okay, well, let's, let's be kind of boring and just grab this color. So on the one... It... <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> So on the one end, what I did was I just made a little loop uh, for my cup button, and I made a loop with some Edo seed beads just because um, I thought it was a little bit more substantial than making a loop with just um, Eslon or silk cord. So I'm just going to pick up however many seed beads I need to make a loop that will go around my cup button. And I don't know how many that is. Fifteen O's, thirty-two. Uh, eight O's. Eight O's. Eight O's. Twenty will get it for you. Oh, <laughs> of course, Ali just knows off the top of her me. head. So, do you want to see what this looks like with the two? Yeah, I think they'd rather see that than me just stringing eight O's on this long. <laughs> get out of here. Get get out of here. There, I think. Get it, out of my is spotlight. That in the, is that in the frame? Oh, that's adorable, yeah. Jenny. It's crazy how different it ends up. It's not really yeah. different, just then. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it really shows you how different just switching up a couple things is. Like, look at this. Yeah. Here, I've got more of like a checkerboard look because I was doing all like the light beads. Here, I've just got completely all mixed together. Um, and then yours is a little more neutral, like the seed beads and the gemstones sort of blend a little bit more. Um, but that would be a really great rock bracelet, too. Yeah, it would. And I feel like it's also the kind of thing, I haven't really done it, but I feel like it's the kind of thing that you could also embellish. So you could then come back and pick up some seed beads and go, like, over the four millimeter stones and do some sort of embellishment. Um, oh, I think I just got an idea. I have one that I embellished 
So we're just um, going to pretend like this is enough because you don't need to wash me do tons and tons of this. So all I'm doing here is, and Ally probably has a wildly better way to do it, um, but all I did for mine was I just made a little loop of the seed beads and then I just made a knot at the end. So knotting is one of those techniques that is definitely worth learning. You can use, if you have a bead awl or something like that, um, or even just a pair of pliers, that'll work really well. And so that's all I did for mine. Um, and you can get it closer than I did. And then what I'm doing is just picking up beads. And I love mixing the crystals. I just mix the crystals, glass, gemstones, those ingots, I like those ingots in there. I like mixing the different shapes too. And you're just gonna slide your bead down, make a big overhand knot, and get it really close to your bead. And I just, between my fingers, I use these three fingers in here to just pull that thread through and push the bead or push the knot close. There's all kinds of fancy contraptions that you can get, and you can also use pliers. Um, so we have a few around those pliers here. I actually find that using my hands, I get the closest, but using round nose pliers too also helps. Head, you can use a head pin too if you don't have anything else. Oh yeah, a head pin. Actually, a head pin's really good because it's nice and, and thin. So you're gonna make just a big overhand knot put your round nose pliers in there, and that helps bring the knot down closer to your bead. And you just bring it, pull it tight, and then off the end. I didn't get it as close though. I always feel like I get it much closer with my fingers. And basically that's all I'm doing is I'm just knotting. So I just made a loop at one end, and then at the other end, I'm just gonna put my cup button on. So you just go, through the one side of the cut button, down the other, tie a knot. Very simple. Um, you know, it's, that's probably a project I can expand on and maybe do a video or something on. So, <laughs> we took a little vacation from the project. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm on the project. Now back to... <laughs> I'm doing the project. Are you doing the project? I, I'm doing an earring. I'm going to show you guys what I do. Ooh. Ooh, this is, this is like extra... We get extra today. Extra Friday fun. Ooh, Friday. Fun days, Friday fun, fun. Fridays, fun days. Smart using head pin. It is smart, Jenny. You got a good Sometimes idea there. Sometimes Jenny's smart. Okay. <laughs> it Jenny's. may be rare, but it surprises you when I do. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. I will I like not that. take offense to that. I, <laughs> um, I really like the red... Um, what does that be called? It's not malachite, right? I'm not sure what that gemstone is. What's Jasper. It? Oh, Jasper, yeah. I don't know why I always forget Jasper. Um, I like that Jasper color with your lavenderite. Yeah, I think those are pretty nice. together. Too bad it's just your stop bead. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just about to say. <laughs> So, Allie, what are you working on? Are you All keeping right, the secret? I'm going to come over and okay. show. Keeping the secret? And I'm done. Oh this my goodness. This is all I was doing. It's so oh. I need a crazy. burner so I can show my finished product. I need a bigger bead for the bottom, but I took my sunglasses off so you now can see me. All right. So here's what I did. <laughs> Set the logic. I can't see you. You can't it's see like me. Kids. It's like kids where you play hide and seek and they stand behind a tree and you can see them on both sides. But you can't see. So all I did, really, really simply, oh, cool. this was small beads that I had there. So all I did was three rows. So I went down, I added mine, I had a stop bead here, went back, did another row, did another row. And then when I came oh. to the bottom, I did Move a loop. Wall, right there on my, it's on my head. Um, did the loop on the bottom. And then at the top, came off of one of the sides. So the loop at the bottom is off one of the sides. Mm -hmm. The top here, three seed beads, crystal on, went through a oh. thing, crystal down. So you can make them long, you could do them as links. Yeah. You could do, so thinking of it more as a vertical thing rather mm -hmm. than horizontal. Yeah, so. I like that. Yeah, yeah just a so fun cute. little. 
Yeah, it's just a great technique. Fun little um, netting technique. What thread are you using, ladies? So I am using Wildfire. Um, this is white, um, just because it's what we had around. So obviously when you use something, it's going to just match your, your materials. Um, and the point zero zero six. And then when you were doing the knotting, we were using a... Oh, yeah. So for the knotting, um, use a, like, cord something like a silk cord or an eslon, some sort of like nylon um, thread. Yeah, something... Um, I like using something that you can burn. I always prefer to knot and burn to um, putting glue on. Agreed. Especially when you're doing, yeah, because especially when you're doing knots, you're going to end up with um, like that hard, like where that glued surface is, you're just going to get this hard knot that creates like, it's just not really comfortable. Not knots. <laughs> not knots. <laughs> do not do knots. Or no, do knots, do not do glue. Some people are very anti-glue. I'm not anti-glue. I just think if you can burn it, that's super fast. I'm more likely to glue my fingers together. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that's why I'm a so little anti-glue because weekly I glue my fingers together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You say, today I'm not going to glue my fingers together. Today I and shall it happens. It always happens. It always happens. You're like, man, another day, another glued finger. <laughs> oh, Anna, your color transition is nice. Yeah, I mean, I really didn't know what it was going to look like. I figured I'd just kind of wing it and see. But I think I'm going to like it better, too, when I um, get out of, like, this section. Because going from the very neutral whites and beiges to color, mm -hmm. uh, I could probably do without the whites and beiges. So then the question <laughs> is going to be, how, um, how are you doing the ends and what end options do you have what's a good what are your good end options for a wide bracelet like this mm. so i i would recommend doing um if you have a multi-strand clasp to show i would definitely do a multi-strand clasp um or so what i did here was i just showed a different way to end it with Picking up, um, what I should do is, actually, you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to make this little pendant, just so I can show you how to end it on one side. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a little bit. Yeah, do yeah. two buttons. Yeah. That's all I got. Okay. <laughs> I've got another, I've got a lot more the white, buttons. The white works, because that's on my, yeah. my end here. Also, it's a little bit like a frog. Okay. <laughs> but this would be a really cool pendant, too. Um. I actually did a video a long time ago on a crystal lace pendant. So I did this essentially, and then I added a fringe at the bottom and just oh, put a cord on the back. Yeah. Um, and so, again, it's like just a really cool way to sort of make it, take this simple technique and do something really fun and different with it. So I wanted to say I put little X's on the top. Oh, I love the, that. Um, Can I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of the colors. Jen, you gotta use different colors. Way to tell her now. <laughs> Jenny, well, now that you're halfway <laughs> through your project, nobody can see it. <laughs> yeah, At so, least it's not green on a green screen. Yeah. So I crossed over um Is it that celery color? Did <laughs> you cross over? To the to the light. Step I into the light. the light. <laughs> um We'll just say I embellished the, uh, on top of the 15 O's that ended up right in the middle when you only do the two beads instead of the four. Oh, and yeah, so really you went cute. from one um, four millimeter bead to the other diagonally, and you made, like, a little X. Reversed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I did three, three 15s, and then I came back around and then added one, picked up the fi middle 15. And then yeah. Went to the next. Yeah. Cool. It's really cute. It, it um, cinches it. Pretty oh, tidy. Yeah. I want to get a little bit more color in here, and then I want to put the clasp on. Your bracelet, Anna, when it's, it looks, it reminds me of like a chakra, because yeah. with the color groupings, it always makes me think like a chakra sort of a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going for, because um, 
I mean, I actually really didn't think about chakra. Thank you for mentioning that. You're welcome. Um, but you get with these stones such a nice, even mix of colors, like the full rainbow. So if you do do them in a rainbow like I'm doing, yeah, you definitely you get like that chakra. Um, let's see what I'm going to do next. I'm gonna do so Anna, or, Anna, are you just picking up like... How, and going with however many blues you have and then switching colors. Yeah, so that's cool. what I was doing. Um, what I'm doing now, though, for the sake of time, honestly, <laughs> is I am just kind of picking up a row of each color because I want to see what my color transition is going to look like. For your pendant? Yeah, yeah, for my, <laughs> for my pendant <laughs> slash very small bracelet. bracelet. Um, I was I was actually looking through some older videos and <laughs> I <laughs> I came across this video where years ago I think you did a video where you showed the whole bracelet but you showed it in like a very shortened form so it was like a two inch bracelet. <laughs> Here's this. But I mean, but you got the whole thing. It's like you just now you just repeat it. Mandy has already claimed your bracelet. Which, so keep going. Which one? The one you're working on. <laughs> the one I'm working and on. And Eva, you asked about the chat. So I have it's to probably... actually finish it. <laughs> yeah. Eva asked about chat on the website. I'm going to go check, but I'm also going to take a picture and show you customer service's new home. Oh, yeah. They got their desks today. We're moving all kinds of things around here. It would be so nice if instead of, I mean, I like, I love like the power of technology and doing all this, but it would be so nice if everybody were just sitting out in front of me. <laughs> we just have like a bead forum, um, like a bead retreat. I mean, people go on those, but like a Potomac bead retreat. Okay. Now that I said that out loud. I think there's don't, a small don't one. <laughs> don't <laughs> something, something else for, for poor Amber to, to organize. I think there's a small one every year in Arizona. Oh, right. yeah. I'm just kidding. It's the biggest oh, one. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you meant... Oh, yeah. Tucson. Tucson. Oh, my gosh. If any of you go to Tucson or live near Tucson, that is... Um, it's around February. Because I remember because it's around my birthday. So I <laughs> guilt-free shopping. It's my yeah. birthday. Credit limits. Who cares? It's my birthday. I'm going to try to reach that credit limit. <laughs> Yeah. Are you talking about the birthday themed box for September because it's my birthday? <laughs> no. No, I'm talking about Tucson. And Jenny's birthday? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We should, um, we should, um, so I'm, I'm really bad at naming things and that's fine. I accept this about myself, but, um, I think I'm really good at coming up with names for hypothetical projects. Like hypothetically, what's our project like called? The, so like for your birthday box, we'll make a birthday suit one. <laughs> So, I don't know what that would be. Like, I just nude feel like... Beads. <laughs> it would all be like... Well, all the beads are nude, I mean. <laughs> oh. Um, nude color beads. Well, yeah, which I guess would... Still be less still of different be colors. Still be less of colors. <laughs> I was going to say that doesn't really narrow yeah, it down. Yeah, not at all. Uh, <laughs> that's a whole other discussion. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like we can do... Oh, like a Lady Godiva. See, there we go. See, I have the concept, and then I gotta narrow it down. A Lady Godiva bracelet. It's, it's like the one when it's the only thing you wear. It's what you want to have on. <laughs> Very blingy, maybe. Okay, I'm getting kind of to the end. I'm in the greens here. Actually, I'm getting really close to it in my thread. <laughs> but, yeah, I love this. Mm -hmm. This is a really cool idea for a chakra bracelet. Um, and what are you doing? You're going, you're just adding your yeah, embellishments. I, I stopped there. You stopped there. <laughs> After, well, I just got okay. finished the <laughs> I didn't know if there was more. that tiny little piece. And I was thinking I'd put a clasp on it to show you how to put a clasp on it with just the two rows. Oh, do that. Can you do it this way? No. No. Okay. Yeah, maybe you guys want to hear. I thought maybe I'd get out of doing it. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But you're going to have to I'm do trying, it anyway because you're going to I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard to just, like, get these colors in here because I really want to see this with the colors. 
Anna, did you actually leave enough space for your clasp on the other end for your thread? I, I, don't, I really don't know at this point. It's like, I feel like I'm on supermarket sweep just trying to like get the colors in. We um, had um, Alexandra yeah, so colors. I, I think I, I actually think I left just enough, but um, if somebody had been teaching me this, <laughs> I would have left more. Unfortunately, I'm the teacher. Well, I told so. you that. <laughs> Um, um, can I give I'll a little spoil? Ali, um, what's your name? Anna. <laughs> They're looking for Alexandrite in. Is that what you're gonna say, Allie? Mm -hmm. In June. Can I give a spoiler? You can give a spoiler. Keep your eyes open for maybe April. Is it in April? Yeah, there's an Alexandrite. Okay. I was gonna say I don't remember Alexandrite in April. Anna and I are already <laughs> past <laughs> April. <laughs> We're on May. Read right box for me. Yeah, we had this, we talked about this yesterday because I was like, no, I think it's Alexandrite. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Tanzanite. <laughs> They're really close. They're really close. Either way, you're getting some purple. <laughs> <laughs> it might just be one Potomac crystal bag, but still. <laughs> but still, it's there. Okay, I am almost. Okay, I'm in my red. Pretty sure it's Alexandrite. Well, well, one of us is going to have egg on their face. <laughs> okay, I'm in my reds now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to um, get some new thread for this. Oh, man, this thread just got me to the end here <laughs> by a, We're all by a thread. A thread. <laughs> We're all dangling. By a thread. That could be another one, dangling by a thread bracelet. Yeah. Mental health bracelet. <laughs> my everything's okay bracelets. Uh, my it's five o'clock summer bracelet. I don't know why you guys say I'm bad at naming things. I'm fantastic at naming <laughs> things. Okay, there we go. There's my full chakra bracelet. Boom. Beautiful. Oh, I mean, I now it's it. not finished, but... <laughs> Mandy has a tiny rest. You're good. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Mandy is prenatal, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is like not even smaller than a newborn. Big or a very big ring. Yeah, yeah very big. Actually, it's not. Actually, oh, look, it's perfect, perfect size. It just looks huge. Um, so I'm gonna tie this off, and this is. I know this is a question that a lot of people have: is like, how do I tie off thread? Some people ask, how much thread do I, want, do I need because they don't want to have to add thread. Um, I say just get really good at adding thread. <laughs> I would rather add thread than start with a gigantic long piece of thread and get, and, knot, and knots. get knots. Yeah. Um, so I've gotten really good at adding and um, ending my thread in the middle of pieces. So I do a little knot just around my thread, and then I take my tail through some beads, and then I then I cut this off. Ooh, someone got a fancy new thread zap. Oh yeah. Ooh, like like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna add some thread, and I'm gonna add my clasp. And look how pretty that looks. Mm. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. I think I wanna take this off. I don't really like how I started. I think I just want it to be till there. And just mm -hmm. make like a funky pendant. Maybe add like okay. a tassel at the end. Mandy yeah. is going to add on to it. So only do one add. I was going to say oh, she okay. could just put thread on. <laughs> I told her she had to make her own. Like she could use that one as half because even an accountant can do it. <laughs> <laughs> even an accountant this can is. do it. That should be the description this Potomac, for this product. This is Potomac Beads. We have, Project. we have very skilled accountants that can also bead. Within moderation. Sorry, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that disclaimer. <laughs> Mandy's in her office like, Ugh. So mad. And, and somebody wanted me to come do a live? Well, forget that. <laughs> now I'm insulted. Now I'm not going to come do a live. I think that's Allie's mission, right? To have everybody do a live. Everybody do a live. Even the guys. Awesome. Like, I feel like the guys probably think that they're, you know, we actually do have guys at work here. I mean, you guys probably aren't used to seeing the guys, but other than it's Nathan. It's about time. 
that you but, do. I mean, Nathan doesn't really count because he kind of has to work here. <laughs> <laughs> he has no option. He doesn't have a choice. Um, he made his bed. <laughs> he made his bed. I in think um, Amber <laughs> Airbus has been. Eugene has wanted to do a series beating with bros. So, Which, by the way, was the name I came up with. Nice. I just so, have to put that in there. We should get all the men from around the warehouse and have them each week or once a month do beating with bros. We'll have to. I, like it. I feel like we need to make sure all the bros know. Like, okay, clean your fingernails. <laughs> Don't, don't have. We know. Too I much. know that. I know that you have been spraying down with WD forty the bagging machine. But <laughs> who cares? Come on and do a live. That would be fun. I think that would be super fun. Um, and my husband Jim, he likes doing the resin pieces. He would be a guest so star. He would be. <laughs> And he does radio, so I mean, he knows he how to. He has the great radio voice. He, for he does, as my mom says, do the radio voice. <laughs> <laughs> do, say it in a radio voice, Jim. <laughs> so I'm gonna do. This is. I like the um, ending that I did on this because it's got sort of like this Tibetan flag sort of finishings to it. So if you bear with me here. It kind of is like it's hanging, like it's a sign, and it's hanging. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's got like a ribbon or something at the end. So that's a great way to end a pendant. Mm -hmm. So what I did is bring this into view here. Do you remember so what I went you up did? The yes, I did. <laughs> I say, that's probably why she's looking at it. Like, Hold on, let me look and see what I did. Um, I do actually remember what I did, but I... <laughs> No one, the no one now believes count. that because... Hold on, but I need to quick count all of them and see how many I used. Oh, I don't know how many I used, no. I know <laughs> I know basically the technique that I did. I don't know how many I used. I just kind of, we're just going to wing it. But if you come up the side here, so you're ending and go up the side here. So you're going through the three seed beads on the side. And what you're going to do is just pick up. Um, you don't even have to count it. Just pick up whatever you think is going to work. Well, and if you make it too short, this is a good time to just add a little <laughs> just extra. Just add a little extra. <laughs> yeah, because this isn't something where you really even have to count. There's no specific number that's going to work. You just want it to reach from one side to the other. And this is this is kind of like big and loose. You could make it definitely tighter. Um, you're also going to need your jump rings, which I don't know if they have any jump rings around here. There's a bunch that sitting in front of you in the bag right there. That was a, oh, I was unprepared. Was right it? there in that bag, Jenny, if you want to grab this big bag right here. Oh! That's got oh, all kinds of metals. I got gifted all kinds of metals. I don't know if jump rings are in there, but you can yeah. make your own. <laughs> Cheryl gifted me all kinds of things she thought I needed. Oh. Which I actually really appreciated. Yeah. Oh, those are um, some of the new findings. recently just put online. Yeah, I yeah. think they're good. I love some of those. Yeah. Do you want um, the ooh. antique copper? Because I don't see brass. Yeah, give me antique copper. That's fine. Antique wait, let's ask Mandy. <laughs> Mandy, what color do you oh, want? Oh, wait, here's brass. Mandy doesn't color. get a say. There oh, she's brass. getting brass. She's getting brass. These are nice. Were you getting these online now? Yeah, those are ours. Those are, I think, just the extras that we had. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking my line of seed beads from one side to the other. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up my jump ring and just let that kind of hang out on my seed beads. And then I'm going to go down the other side here through the seed, uh, three seed beads at the side of my bracelet. So you can see, I didn't really um, add a lot of extra. Like here, it loops down quite a bit. I added a lot of extra seed beads. Here, I just kind of made, I just picked up enough to go across. So you can do it, yeah. So this is very loose, and so if you wanted to add a little extra flair or embellishment, you could do beads instead of seed beads, use something chunkier. Um, but I'm just picking up uh, a line of beads here, and then I'm going, she Mandy said speed. she can't see her options. Sorry. She can't see her options. Well, she doesn't her, get any. It was brass. Choice was made for her. 
And I'm just going to go to, there we go. I'm just going through my bracelet here, through the, I'm going to go up through these three seed beads here. I'm making like a little U-turn in my project because I want to come out on the other side here. So now I'm on the other side of my gemstone. I'm on the gemstone on the end here. And I'm just going to pick up another row of 15 O's. So when I did the um, ending on the bracelet that I have here in the sample, I picked up, same deal, I picked up two, but one I made a little bit shorter and so it just sat on the inside. So you're just going to make one a little bit smaller than the other if you want to do that kind of ending. <laughs> Jay's throwing things all over the place now. Give your bead back. And, and make sure you the second line of seed beads you're also going to take through your jump ring here. So you want the jump ring to sit on both of your rows of seed beads here. And again, I'm not really counting. I'm just picking up what, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Ooh, and I picked up too many, so I can pick, take a few more off. So for those of you, um, Shelly, like Shelly, I'm gonna call you out, because Shelly didn't like the chaos. <laughs> um, if you want more of an exact number, then just eyeball it. Whatever you do for your longest row, I would start off by taking like five beads off and just see if that works for you. So just kind of remember what number you picked up and take off five or six beads and that should then make your second row sit within the next, within the, the first row. And then I'm, once I've got the number of seed beads on that I need, I'm going to go through my gemstone at the end from the inside going to the outside. And then I have nice two little two little strands of 15 O's at the end there holding that jump ring I'm gonna tie this off and I would suggest um, putting the knot in the center of the project not doing it along the edge because it's going to be um, much more vis visible there Learned that one the hard way. <laughs> yeah, I think that's one that, yeah, I think we all learn the hard way. And then you take a picture of your jewelry, and of course that knot is front and center yeah. in any picture that you take. So I'm still overhand knot here, pull tight. Take my thread through a bead there, so I can hide my tail a little bit, be a little bit better. I don't know why I grabbed so much thread. I don't know what I thought I was doing. Completing the bracelet. <laughs> yeah, but I grabbed like <laughs> 10 feet of thread for like an inch of work. That way Mandy doesn't have to add any. She yeah, just, I'll just let me leave that for her. She just burned so it off. Notice, <laughs> notice with Anna burning that thread off that she t tied a knot and then took the thread through the next bead mm -hmm. and then burned it off. Right. Rather than burning it right next to the knot, it helps to make that knot presence not as noticeable. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not presence. That's not, not as presence. noticeable. I think that's a better beater. A knot, your knots, your knot presence. To make your knots presence. It's a very existential mm -hmm. <laughs> better beater. So then I'm just going to open my jump ring here. And Allie's got a bunch of videos and open it in jump rings. <laughs> Like not holding with a round nose. Like not, I know. Just, I was you didn't I have cringed. to. You didn't have to draw attention to that. Make but me cringe. Make me cringe again. <laughs> At least I'm not um, breaking beads. It's what, I have, it's what I have available. So yes, ideally you would have two flat nose pliers because Anna, put it on the other side now that you're done. If you put it on the other side, you could make it so that it's a pendant. If you put the you put it about? on, you if, you, if you if you put say you were making this a necklace, if you put that little flag portion that's going to hang down uh -huh. on the tongue, it's removable. 
oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like the foxy yeah. necklace. Like the foxy necklace. Like the necklace. foxy necklace. Okay. Yes. I think Mandy's going to finish the bracelet legit. Okay, so yeah. we'll okay, so we'll just pretend. <laughs> yeah, so what so Ally what you're saying, I'll just take this out off for now is this is then a piece that I'm going to do it and show you. Okay, Jenny, close your eyes if you don't want to see me use the roundness pliers. <laughs> Also, oh, opening and closing jump rings is one of those skills that's very valuable because um, if you need to finish chain link jewelry or if somebody gives you jewelry to fix, um, that's a really valuable skill. So when you open and close a jump ring, you want to think of it like a slinky that you're un slinking, <laughs> like a slinky that you're unslunked. I think the word is unslunked. <laughs> An unslunked right? slinky. But once you pull so, it out. And you don't want to pull them out. You're thinking of a slinky the other direction. Oh. So I'm, so think of, <laughs> okay, maybe slinky is a bad analogy. <laughs> but you want to take this and you want to like uncoil it or pull it like, like a slinky. You don't want to open it, you don't want to open it like a U, like an O going to a U. If you're making, if taking your O and you're making it a U, Trouble. Trouble. <laughs> you just gotta have trouble. Nothing but trouble. <laughs> so you just want to take um, the top of your O and, and slip them apart like a slinky. Or not a slinky. How are you slinkies? <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attach this to the tongue instead of the bigger portion of the clasp because then, like what Ali's talking about is Let's say I took this bigger portion of the clasp here and I attached, um, like say like, let's do like a herringbone or something like a, or like the foxy necklace, you guys can look it up. Um, Ali will probably link to it. But you can make a necklace with um, this portion of the clasp attached to it, built as part of the, as the necklace. And then you can have a series of pieces that you attach to tongues and then it's an interchangeable piece. So you've got um, different kinds of little pieces of pendants and whatnot. Not little pieces of pendants, full <laughs> pendants. <laughs> little pieces of right angle weave or whatever you want to do. Make some cool pendants. Glue that in. There you go. So that is... <laughs> Ma uh, that is TV your magic. <laughs> TV magic, yes. So I finished. There you go. Um, there you go. <laughs> um, I am off to go get. Oh, sh ship orders. Oh, okay. Um, well, Ali, you just. Oh, she's not even in here. I didn't even realize she wasn't she's in the like, room. Go. Gotta go. She's out of the room. I thought she was standing next to me. Okay. So, I mean, I guess that's our cue to get off here, then, I think. Um, thank you guys for, for tuning in, like always. Um, uh, yes, open it sideways and do not pull apart. Yeah. Um, so, thank you guys for tuning in and spending an hour with Jenny and I um, getting through half of a project. <laughs> um, I hope you guys got some good ideas and learned something or at least were entertained for an hour of your day. <laughs> um, so we will see you um, next time Jenny and I will be on together. It will be for the unboxing for April. Yes, we're in April. Yeah, okay. We will be. <laughs> we, we, will, we will be, yeah. Um, so we will see you then. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel, like us, um, like, like us with the buttons, not with the just, buttons. not just emotionally like <laughs> us, like us with the buttons so that, so that more people can see our videos and learn something and be entertained. <laughs> so, um, Jenny, you got the magic button there. We will see you guys next time.